Bees Fight. Alex and Steve Life Minecraft Animation. Oh my god, 136 million views? That's like 17% the amount of views that popular YouTube video Despacito has. So you know this is gonna be good. Let's check it out together. Created by Black Plasma Studios. Make sure you guys go check them out. Their links will be in the description of today's video. So we're opening up with a beautiful bumblebee. And at some point, the bumblebees are probably gonna fight because that's the title of the episode. And it has 136 million views. So my expectations are literally like through the roof. <laughs> the camera they're way up here where you can't even see all right cool so there's a villager uh he's looking super happy his nose is kind of just like bouncing all around uh, and this is their village they actually have a pretty cool village looks like they're like in between two giant mountains all right so it's getting to be nighttime the bees are all going obviously to sleep with the villagers wait the villagers are acting kind of sus um the iron golem is currently with the, are, are these bandits they kind of look like bandits, or maybe they're guarding the village? That, no, oh, that, that is a witch. The witch is not guarding the village. The witch is sending in her zombie minions to go attack the village. And also creepers too. Oh, these dudes are ready. They came prepared. The iron golem literally put his flower on his head. That's how you know he means business. Wow, this is sick. Okay, oh my God. Okay, I see you. Look at that. Oh, the iron golem's coming in. Imagine if they actually did that in Minecraft. If they had these insane animations. There actually is a mod that adds that in. It's called the epic fight mod. Not that cool of an animation. That is pretty dope. All right, so we have literally the trio of the century here just killing everything. They did a good job with round one, but round two is looking a little bit overwhelming. Wow, that is just a zombie apocalypse right now coming straight for the, the iron golem dipped. <laughs> when the iron golem dips, that's when you run for your life. Oh my gosh, they're breaking down the windows. You gotta be joking me right now. Oh, okay. All right. They're just stealing everything. They normally try to kill the villagers, but these ones are different. They're stealing. They're literally... Okay, wait. The bees are coming out. The bees are gonna protect the village. I'm calling you right now. The witch has superpowers at this point. She's able to control all of the mobs. This is like a mega boss witch right now. And she is just... She is vicious. She just ransacked that entire village without a care in the world. Look at that. They have like doors everywhere. The windows are all busted. And... The bees, uh, it looks like they wrecked the farm. So like the bees don't really have as much farmland to pollinate. So they're sad. Poor bees. Oh, wait, there's a puppy now too. The puppy's kind of just like coming out and, oh, it's, it's Minecraft Steve and Alex. Are they just like part of the village or are they just strolling through? I think they're probably just like passing through the town. And they're slowly realizing now that they just got beat up. They just got everything in their village stolen. Steve is slowly making the realization that yeah, this entire place that used to be very beautiful and peaceful and picturesque is now pretty much dead. <laughs> Alex just touched Steve on the shoulder and uh, I guess they're about to plan something right now. Something big, something amazing. Wow, okay, Steve now knows how to command bees. He is currently making the bees into army soldiers that are being trained right now to light a TNT with a redstone torch and kill anything that looks like a witch. If the witch decides to show up again, which I'm pretty sure she will at the end of today's video, she's about to get ransacked. She's about to get destroyed by the bee army. Oh my god. The poor dummy is just, is just practice right now. It is just a target for all of these bees. Yo, that is some good looking lava. That looks very, very, very nice. Kind of want to take a little dip inside of it. Okay, they're making walls around their entire village. This is honestly great. This is a great level of teamwork that's going on right now. They're all gearing up. Like, honestly, what if the witch just never showed up? Did they think about that? That the witch is just going to take what she already has stolen and then just run and then just go do it to the next village? Like, if I'm the witch, why would I come back? Okay, they just buried a bunch of honey as well. I guess that'll be their, like, secret stash. I don't know why like honey is so valuable. Maybe they also had gold blocks down there. Nope, I guess uh, they did all that training in one day. H has it been a day? Seems like maybe. Maybe it's been two days, three days. I don't really know, but the witch is back. She has absolutely no remorse whatsoever. The zombies don't really know what they're in for though. As soon as that lever gets hit, it is about to go down. Just wait for it, Steve. He's waiting for it. He hit the right moment. The walls are coming up. Whoa. Oh my God. That is not possible in vanilla Minecraft, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta trust me on this. I don't think you can make a wall go that high, but that was sweet. Oh. They know they messed up now. The bees are dropping bombs. 
<laughs> They're literal jet bombers. They're bee bombers. Oh, that is sick. Alex has a trident. Steve and Alex literally just took the entire village in their hands and they were like, nah, we're not dealing with this anymore. We're going to train the bees. We're going to train everybody and we're going to destroy the witch and her entire mob army. He yeah, absolutely love to see it. Look at that. They just literally made an automatic arrow dispensing farm. Like, how are- oh my god, 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 what the- That witch just gave the zombie some sort of potion. I, wait, I think it might turn it into a giant. I flipping knew it. Oh, it is over. Honestly, the only hope now is for the bees. The bees are the only thing that can probably get to the top of the giant and maybe do some damage. That was honestly super cool how they made an electrified creeper and literally just threw it at the wall and it blew up everything. The tides are slowly turning in this war. The mobs versus the villagers and the players and also the bees. They honestly need some extra help. Like maybe some polar bears could come in and do a little bit more damage. Polar bears are pretty vicious. Maybe get an axolotl in there too. I don't really know. I don't know if they're vicious or not, but they could help. Steve is taking it upon himself to duel the witch one-on-one. -on -one. A great battle always has a great duel. Steve has the upper hand here, in my opinion. He has the iron sword and he also has the shield. But the witch has magic. So that could be a problem for my main man Steve right now. The witch also apparently just like knows karate. Which like, I don't know if that makes sense or not for a witch who's probably spending 99% of her time doing, you know, witch things like brewing and making different potions and, you know, living in a swamp for the most part. I don't know when she gets time to do kung fu. Oh my god. She just got witch slapped. Oh, the witch lost her hat. I don't think I've ever seen a witch without a hat. It's just a villager. I always forget. It's basically just a villager with a witch's hat on. The giant is going directly towards the village. Oh no. The electrified creepers are going to do way too much damage. They're not going to be able to recover anything. Oh, you really tripped on the one rock? You just had to trip on the one rock? Thank gosh. Good work, Alex. Somebody has to save the plebs. Oh. The giant found the stash. Oh, it's a giant ball of honey. Big mistake, pal. The bees are about to come out of hiding. I can feel it in my bones. Steve, bad idea. You don't want to mess with a giant of that size and stature. But you know who will? The bees. At least I think so. Did the okay? Ne uh, ne never mind. I thought I thought maybe that was a good time for the bees to come out of hiding and do lots of damage. But the bees are just as defeated as everybody else. That is the second time they have lost to the witch and her massive army. Honestly, it was kind of not even fair. They were able to literally make a giant that could puncture their wall and destroy everything. Like, how could they have known that? Steve and Alex are sharing a nice little moment here. The sun is shining. Wait a second. Steve was able to find the witch's hat. And what are they going to do with that? I'm honestly lost right now. Leave a comment down below if you guys have any idea what they're going to do with the witch's hat. Oh my god, they upgraded the bees even more. The, the bees have dispensers. They have guns on them, basically. They're gonna be able to dispense arrows. Oh my god, wait, they're going out into the swamp. The dog is leading the entire army right now. That is so cool. They found it. Is that it? That has to be the witch's hut. Oh yeah, look, it's the same witch. She doesn't have her hat anymore. She just has the giant ward on her face. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's a problem. It's daytime. And all- wait, oh, uh, really? I thought for sure it was gonna be fine because it was gonna be daytime and then they're all gonna burn. But Steve knew this would happen. He's prepared. He's brought the troops. He's brought the bees. And this time he's ready. I'm getting goosebumps right now. This is sweet. Oh! They came prepared this time. Oh my god, wait, did you guys just see that? The bees aren't shooting out just arrows, they're shooting out meteors! That is sick! Really? 
the amount of times that they're, they're they're just using the overpowered giant the giant needs to be nerfed oh that was the most mlg pro strat i've ever seen from a b even steve was just like what a b can do that b should not be able to do that they don't have like that many brain cells that was a 200 iq play from the b oh wow oh they're moving in if they can defeat the witch then I'm pretty sure everybody else will just fall apart. Is the witch still up there? Let's see. I feel like the witch would have like some sort of escape plan by now. The animation on this video is so well done, by the way. Please go ahead and check out the rest of Black Plasma Studios animations, which should be linked in the description of today's episode. This is sweet. Oh my gosh. The amount of defenses inside are insane. They made it to the top. It's just them and the witch. Uh-oh. What's her weapon of choice? Does she even have one? Is it just Kung Fu? Oh my gosh, no. Okay, so it's a bunch of potions. I thought she was an old lady at first, but no, dude. She can move. They have her locked down. It's a 2v1. Just take her out. It's not that hard. No. 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 Oh, that's going to leave a mark in the morning. It's just up to you, Steve. Finish this. There's no way. Yo, I think this witch might be using Kill Aura. Alex, you might want to start getting up right about now. Throw it. Do it. Yes. Oh, I thought she was going to throw it. That would have been kind of cool, but I'll take it. That was still pretty awesome. Did they do it? I, th I think the witch is dead. The witch seems... Okay, yeah, the witch is definitely dead. But, like, okay, so what happened to the rest of the troops outside? How did they get rid of the giant? Is the giant completely dead from the explosion from the bees? I guess so. They did it. And now they're going to go ahead and rebuild the entire village. Wow. Wow. What a lovely message. Just two kind travelers helping out the local village. Bees fight. Bloopers. It has 12 million views. Well, I definitely want to see the bloopers. Steve's showing up to the village. Wait, what? How are there going to be bloopers? It's an animation. Well, okay, all right. I guess we'll find out. It's Alex and Steve again. We've, we've, we've seen this clip. <laughs> I guess this is an alternate reality where Alex and Steve were actually the bad guys. <laughs> In that one, the bees were the arrows. Okay, this is where I, I felt like there would be a blooper because this dude fell, right? And he's just going to die. Because <laughs> that could easily happen. <laughs> Giant blooper. He grabs the honey. He pulls it up. He's looking big. He's looking green. He's looking mean. <laughs> and he just... <laughs> eats it <laughs> this is the final battle scene oh my gosh wait this was so cool so they were moving in right and the entire sequence was so cool but like at the same time the creeper could have just easily exploded like that this is one of the first scenes when the witch is first coming to the village <laughs> they could have ended this so fast if they just did that Steve's stranding up the B army with the TNT. I feel like they're gonna mess this up. Oh, it killed Alex too. <laughs> Let's uh, run it back. Careful now. All right, make sure you just uh, light it and then make sure you drop it. <laughs> you see, these are the parts they didn't show when they were actually training the bees because the bees don't know what to do because they're bees and they've never used TNT before. Like, that probably happened at least 60 times. How many bees died during the creation of this video? This is the part when Steve, uh, I guess we'll call him Bogo, the wolf. B Bogo decides to pull the witch out of the hat. What? The wall went up. <laughs> the witch doesn't know what to do, and it <laughs> falls and kills half the army. Honestly, that wouldn't have been a bad idea. 
So this is when they're hiding the stash of honey. I don't know exactly why they even hit this in the first place. Yo, what? <laughs> Just happened. Oh, snap. The giant's running away with the giant honey block. Steve is challenging the giant and dies. <laughs> This is the part when I think they're rebuilding it. Oh my god, wait, the, uh, there's TNT. They didn't realize that there was TNT. S Steve got a nice little present <laughs> of an explosion. Well, that was pretty awesome. Thanks for watching with me. If you guys do want to watch more, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also leave a like. Comment down below some other videos I can react to. If I like your idea, I'll feature you as a comment in the next episode.